I don't want to go to jail, man. How you doing? Officer Holt went to Giddy's Police Department. Do you have your firearm in the vehicle? Yes, I do. Where is it at? Just for my safety, do you mind stepping out? Uh, you can just set your phone down. Put your arms behind your back. This could be a trip to jail really? and, and a vehicle being towed in the state of Texas. I can't even lie, bro. I would take myself to jail too. Uh, if I pulled myself over and I had a ski on with a Raiders, with a Raiders beanie, that boy got the black forces on. You got a Glock in the car. And I got the ARP in the back seat. Nah, for real though, take that nigga to jail, bro. <sighs> What's good, YouTube? Um. I'm just, first off, I'm glad to be home right now, bro. I'm glad to be in my room. I'm glad to be a free man. Because after this night, it could have went way different. You feel what I'm saying? I could be locked up right now. It could be free guap in the comments. Because Buddy Ad was tripping, bro. That police officer was tripping. He was smoking that good dope. Because bro was trying to lock me up. Bro was trying to lock me up tonight like he was not trying to let me walk away a free man he was trying to impound my car and take me to jail man this could be a trip to jail really? and and a vehicle being towed in the state of texas so grab a snack get you some juice cuz boy i got a story for y'all man um <clears throat> so i happen to live in austin texas currently I am from Virginia. I was born and raised in Virginia. Shout out to the 804 man, Richmond, Virginia. Um, but I recently moved to Texas last year in 2023. I'm currently in the process of relocating in the great state of Texas. I've lived in Austin for about a year now. And um, it's cool. It's great. Lovely city. But I don't think it's where I want to um, reside for now. So... Um, I'm actually looking at different options in Texas to live and um, you know, I happen to be visiting one of these places in Texas at 2 in the morning. Now, Texas is a massive state, huge, and there are lots of cities in Texas that I should not be driving through at 2 in the morning. And this was one of them. This was one of them, let alone with guns in the car. All right, so the story begins at 2 a.m. Friday night. My girl had called me. She don't stay in Austin. She stay in another city. You know, when your girl tell you, come see me, you gotta drop everything and go see that girl, man. So it was like two in the morning. She was like, I miss you, I miss you, I really want to kiss you, but I can't so baby. My baby girl want me to come see her. Um, she got a range nearby that I wanted to go try for the first time. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get a two for one special. I'm going to go see my baby girl and I'm going to bring my guns with me and I'm going to go to the range. So it's like, it don't get much better than that. God, guns and girls. So I packed up my guns, my AK, my Draco. And of course, I have my, my everyday carry, my Glock 19X. So, I load up a couple guns in the trunk. Got my appendix carry with my uh, appendix holster right here. Um, I get in the car, and I start my car up. I go fill up my tank of gas, get ready for a, a three-hour drive. So, you feel what I'm saying? Texas is huge. You can drive three hours and, and still be in Texas. So, I'm driving from Austin to Houston, right? This is where the story get interesting. <sighs> um, I'm about an hour and a half into the drive. I'm doing the speed limit. I was never speeding throughout this whole process. I don't even speed. Me personally, I left those days in the past. I've been in a car accident before. Um, I totaled two vehicles. Like I hit the vehicle. <laughs> What? That's another story. If you haven't seen that one, go check out that story time. I crashed the car, but this, I, I'm not a reckless driver. I'm a pretty decent driver. You feel what I'm saying? So, so I'm driving, doing the speed limit, and um, I'm passing through a small town in Texas. <sighs> so basically, if you're not familiar with Texas, it's like you're driving on a road, you pass through a town, then it's, you drive and it's nothing. Then you drive and it's a town. It's like... 
it's like the movie cars you know the movie cars when they're passing through and they go through uh i forgot what the town's called and in whatever in the movie but you pass through that little small town it's like that so i'm passing through the small town right tell me why i'm driving the speed limit i'm the only car on the road it's two in the morning and out of nowhere, a car get behind me. And I'm like, damn, bro. Like, you already know what that means, bro. Like, when you're driving and you just see a car pull out behind you, you just get to. And that's what it was. I knew it's what it was. So I'm driving and I know they're behind me. So, like, now I really start slowing down. Even though I'm going the speed limit, I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to let them pass me and I'm going to be cool. Nope. We pull up to, like, two red lights. It's like a red light right here and a red light right here. We go through the first one. And while we're about to go through the second red light, boom, them lights come on. I'm like, damn, bro, no. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> bro, like, I'm not sure if everyone watching can relate to this, but, like, the feeling that I get when I see them lights behind me, bro, and I hear them sirens, like, my heart be sinking, bro. Like, I be getting nervous, bro. I be scared, bro. Like, it's not even just, like, Oh, here we go again. It's like, nah, like, I be genuinely like, oh my gosh. I be saying a quick prayer and everything, bro. I promise y'all. <sighs> so I'm thinking like, why is he pulling me over for? Like, what could I be doing wrong? I'm going to speed limit. Like, what, what's, what's going on, officer? So I go ahead and uh, I pull over. <sighs> I don't want to go to jail, man. I don't want to go to, uh, I don't want to go to jail, man. Pull over right here. Can I pull over right here? You gonna pull over? Uh, right, right here, I guess. But I was like, hey, we got to figure out what he wants. So I didn't want to pull over on the side of the road. I kept driving and I was like, I hope you don't think that I'm trying to get away from him. But I'm just trying to find a well-lit area because if I go out, you feel what I'm saying? Somebody going to have to see this, bro. I ain't finna pull off on the side of the road. Keep in mind, I'm in the middle of nowhere in Texas at 2 in the morning. I'm not pulling off to the side of the road where there's nowhere, no lights, nobody can see me. You know what they going to do to me? You tripping, you bugging, you crazy. So I pulled over at like a, a gas station. It was like a gas station and uh, a motel. So it's like a well-lit area. And I'm like, hey, hopefully somebody can see this because I, I I don't got nobody with me. I'm by myself, just me, my guns, and myself. So, man, pull over, <sighs> put my hands on the steering wheel, start recording. I'm, I'm nervous, bro. I'm nervous, roll that window down, I'm waiting for him to come up. And it's freezing cold outside too, bro. It's like 20 some degrees, bro. When I moved to Texas, I thought that it was never under 50 degrees. It get under 20 degrees in Texas, bro. It got cold this year. So I was over there shivering like, oh, please don't take me to jail, bro. So, the officer approached me and he was on bulls. He was on bull. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. Like, I don't know who peed in his Cheerios at two in the morning, but when, right when he got to my car, license and registration. You know what you you know what you did? Your tent illegal. Your license plate illegal. Your back tail lights are too dim. Like he just started grilling me, grilling me like the the, the tent, the the uh, light, the the plate not coming back, the plate cover, everything of that i listed and it's not good in texas that's illegal okay like i could arrest for each one of those okay i'm like damn officer i just moved to texas i had no idea that my tent was illegal i had no idea that i couldn't have a license plate cover i see all these people with license plate covers every day how am i how am i illegal and i'm just in my head like bro he's just he's just adding stuff like just adding things trying to make it into this big deal so i'm like you know what i'm just gonna comply bro that's one thing about me. I'm not going to sit here and argue with him, give him no back talk or nothing. I'm just going to comply. So he asked to see my license. And I'm like, yeah, sure. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I actually just moved from Virginia to Texas. So I was in between getting my licenses, but I did just get my license to carry. So when I was reaching my wallet to give him my Texas license, 
he saw two licenses because you know he likes to just look at everything I'm doing wide eyes like so I reached my wallet and he's like what's that right there he was like is that your Virginia license I was like no sir that's actually my LTC and he was like oh you got a gun and I was like yeah he was like where's your gun I'm like it's in the back because when I got pulled over boy funny story y'all might be asking why did I have a ski mask on but it was cold outside so I had a ski mask on and a beanie, but when I saw them sirens light up behind me, I took that beanie off, took off my ski mask, put my gun in the back seat, and I just like got everything off me, you feel what I'm saying? So I can't even lie, bro. I would take myself to jail too. Uh, if I pulled myself over and I had a ski on with a Raiders, with a Raiders beanie. Took that off too. No, I'm just playing, I'm just playing, I'm just playing, I'm playing. I'm just playing. I didn't take nothing off. Okay, joking, bro. Nah, not funny. I'm going to jail. All right, so he's like, oh, you got a gun? Yeah, can you step out the car for me? Like, that was the first thing he said. I'm like, you know what? I understand it, you know, for his safety, I'm going to step out the car. But that's also my safety, too, because now he got it on his hip and mine's in the car. So it's like, what are we doing? <laughs> what, what about my safety? So in that moment, I really could, like, you feel what I'm saying, argue, like, what about my safety? Like... It's really cold. What if I just want to sit in the car? Like, do we have to do all that? But you know what? Me not trying to lose my life, I step out the car. And I'm like, you know what? No problem, officer. I'll step out the car in the 20 degree weather and just be shivering. So he's like, yeah, um, actually put your phone down and let me search you. Officer Holt went to Giddings Police Department. Also have a license plate cover, a clear license plate cover, which Texas Transportation Code, that's not legal, okay? Okay. Do you have a license for insurance? Yes, I do. Here is my license. And I have proof of insurance on my phone as well. Okay. Your uh, your wind or windshield and your windows are all way too dark for Texas. Okay. So, yeah. I would what, definitely... Is that a Virginia license? No, this is my license to carry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you have your firearm in the vehicle? Yes, I do. Where is it at? It's located in the back seat behind. Okay. Uh, just for my safety, do you mind stepping out? For sure. Okay. You want proof of insurance as well? Yeah, you can pull it up on your phone while we're talking. All right. Um, you need to get the vehicle registered as well. Okay. Yes, sir. I'm All working right. on that. Um, if you don't mind, go. Just lean up on the back of your car. That's fine. Okay. That's cool. How you doing? How's it going? Doing well. Okay. Uh, you can just set your phone down. Behind your back. I'm not going to sure. handcuff you. Sure. All right. Just your wallet in your pocket. Yes, okay. it should be wallet. All right, you're good. Just All stay right. with my partner real quick. I'll be back. Okay. All right, appreciate All right, you. Thank you. So you feel what I'm saying? He patted me down. He ain't find nothing. I, I told him, watch yourself, though. Like, yeah, don't don't be, yeah, none, none of that, bro. This ain't that. You feel what I'm saying? So he just gave me a little light pat on the pockets. He found my wallet, keys, my phone. That's about it. I ain't had no knives on me. Luckily, I didn't have my knife on me because I normally... I be carrying them little, them little yeahs. Not no like stabbing knife, but just a little, a little tactical knife. But um, so yeah, he had patted me down, and he was like, "Okay, we're gonna need you to step far away from your vehicle. Just stay over here for me. Just stay over here. Uh, just stay back. Yeah, here. I'll stay back here. It's no problem. A little chilly. I get it like my guns in the car you don't want me to be in the car you don't want me to have the gun but like and at this point I'm like whatever so he take my license he start running stuff and his buddy get out the car and he start talking to me like so uh this your car like I'm like yeah this my car like what do you mean like I mean it yes yes it's my car how long did you buy the car for? how long did I buy the car yeah, I long? bought the car in about 2020 I believe when did you move here? I moved here in February 2023, correct? Okay. Yeah. So I'm still in the process of bringing everything from Virginia. So you got a litany of issues with the car. <laughs> Obviously, you know that the lamp is out. Is yeah, I, I, okay. I wasn't aware of the lamp being out. From a very far distance? Yeah. I thought it was completely out. Okay. Simple. So, did you... 
And he's like, okay, uh, so why do you have Virginia license plates? I'm like, okay, um, he must not have heard, but he's not listening. Not a great listener, but, um, so. Did you buy this plate or did you buy the car with this plate? No, I purchased the car back in 2020 in Virginia. Okay. Then I got the plate probably a few months later. I'm not too sure of it, but I bought the plate, I believe, for three years. So, um, yeah, I recently moved from Virginia to Texas and I'm in the process of exchanging my license and uh, registering my vehicles and, and establishing uh, an apartment or a home like I'm in between right now. So, you know, and he's like, OK, cool, cool, cool. He was like, so this is your license plate. I'm like, yeah, like, why are they starting to grill me? Like, they don't believe me. Like, what's going on? He's like, OK, all right. And like, he's like. It's not sarcastic, but it's like he don't believe what I'm saying. Like, OK, so then his homeboy come out the car. Right. And he said, I don't remember what he said. I might have to listen to the video again. But he was like, are you sure this is your vehicle? And at this point, I'm like, bro, he just he just want to take me to jail. Like what? Yes, this is my vehicle. Like, bro, my car is in my name. Nobody else's name. Like no cosign, no lease, no nothing. Like I own my vehicle 100 percent. And I have insurance, everything. So he wanted to see proof of insurance. I showed him proof of insurance. I showed him registration. Tell me why this dude tried to say my registration is invalid. Bro. Cool. Moved here. Yeah. So your plate is valid, but your registration sticker's not. Registration. Is, is this vehicle registered to me? Is this the right plate? Yes. Okay because they're still waiting on returns on the plate and it's different than your sticker on your on your windshield. Because that says August 2025, your windshield says that it's already been expired. Really? Just stay over here for me. Just stay over here. And where did you get the plate through? Uh, The DMV through you Virginia. Through the DMV. I do have, uh, I'm not sure if I have the registration in the car, but I just, um, when I paid the car off, I got it through CarMax and they sent me the registration. Okay. I probably Ooh. have a digital version. <sighs> Give me just a second. I'm gonna get with sure. my dispatch about this license plate. All right, thank you. Do really try to say that my license doesn't match the sticker on the front of my car. And he said that my registration is invalid. Like my car is not coming back found to anybody. Like this is a stolen vehicle or something. The, the plate not coming back, the plate cover, I'm like, dude, are you talking about the sticker on the front windshield? That's an inspection sticker? Cool, moved here. Yeah. So your plate is valid, but your registration sticker's not. Registration. Is, is this? Vehicle's registered to me. Is this the right plate? Yes. Okay, because they're still waiting on returns on the plate and it's different than your sticker on your, on your windshield. Cause that says August, 2025, your windshield says that it's already been expired. Really? Just stay over here for me. Just stay over here. I think that's, no, that inspection sticker. Correct. So the inspection sticker is behind, but the the registration is still correct. Okay. It's up to date. Okay. So Virginia must have different laws with their inspection and registration stickers. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay. So just, uh, just stay back. Yeah, here. I'll stay back here. It's no problem. A little chilly. This dude really tried to say that my inspection sticker was coming back to another vehicle and my, my license plate wasn't matching up with my inspection sticker. Does this dude not know what a car inspection is? Am I missing something? He said that it's different in the state of Texas than Virginia. Well, where I'm from, bro, you get a license plate and then you take your car to get inspected and every like year you have to get an inspection sticker just to make sure your car is running well. But the license, that's like every couple of years. You don't have to change that every year. Like, what are you talking about? But he was really just saying anything, trying to get me in trouble, trying to get me locked up. So this is where it gets interesting. So once he found out that my car and my inspection sticker were two different things, like that was all good and he couldn't take me to jail for having uh, a different license plate than inspection sticker he tried to go back to the tent 
this dude gonna say, come with me, man, come look at this. I'm like, oh, Lord. He put that flashlight on my front windshield. He said, you know this illegal, right? 5% tent, you can't be doing that. 5% tent, he said you're not even allowed to have tent on your windshield in the state of Texas. I never ever heard that before. All right, man. So, I'm gonna be flat out with you. Uh-huh. I could write you multiple citations right now. The lamp. Realistically, if I truly wanted to, this could be a trip to jail. Really? And, and a vehicle being towed in the state of Texas. For? The, everything. The, the, the tent, the, the uh, light, the the plate not coming back, the plate cover, everything that I listed in Texas. It's not good in Texas? That's illegal. Okay. Like, I could arrest for each one of those. Okay. The Take window the tent, tent reduce especially it. the windshield. Okay. That Any state trooper that sees that, you're going to get pulled over every single time. Texas, yeah. we do not care about the back window. Okay. That and then those small portions right here? we don't care about. Okay. In Texas, it's the windshield. Okay. You cannot yeah. in the state of Texas have any tent below this. Uh huh. Is there nothing below that? Correct. Correct. And your oh, whole, really? your whole oh, windshield yes. is tinted. Oh wow. Yes. You can't have anything. So you can you can only tint this much. Correct. Correct. That's in crazy. Okay. And then your front windows. <laughs> Too dark. Correct. <laughs> if I had to guess, I'm gonna say they're five percent. Yeah. Um, about five. The the legal limit for Texas is twenty five. Twenty five. Oh. Twenty five percent on the front. Nothing on the windshield past that line. Okay. If you want, you can come back over here to my side. So you said 25 on the front, nothing on the, front on the side? It, all it takes is a simple Google search, and you can find it Okay, right cool. Every tent shop, if you tell them you want your front windows as dark as legal, they'll know 25. Okay. You're not allowed to have any tent on your windshield past this much on your, uh, on your car? Like, what? That's not, that can't be true, right? Chat, is that real? So he said that I'm not allowed to have tent on my front windshield and it has to be like 35 percent on the passenger or something i i really don't remember because he just started yapping but i was like you know what i wasn't aware of that officer i'll get that taken care of like i'll, I'll take off the tent that's whatever I don't, I don't care then he said your license plate cover that's also illegal i'm like okay officer i wasn't aware like at this point i truly didn't know I, I truly didn't know any of this, bro. I'm new to Texas, bro. Whatever whatever you say goes, man. You're the boss. Then he gonna say, and your car's not registered. It's not coming back to you. And I'm like, what? Like, I got the insurance right here. What are you talking about? Then he gonna try to tell me there's a new law in the state of Texas where a felon cannot own a gun. <laughs> Since when? Since when? Bro, I, I, I that's news to me, officer. Like... I've never heard that before, bro. Since when can a felon not possess a firearm? <sighs> so at this point, he asked to see where my gun's at. Do you have your firearm in the vehicle? Yes, I do. Where's it at? It's located in the back. <sighs> I had no choice. He was gonna conduct the search, so I was like, just go ahead and pop the trunk. You'll see. He popped the trunk. Boy, eyes lit up like the 4th of July. Boy, I'm telling you, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm standing there by myself. I see four police cars coming towards me. I'm like, yup, this is it. Like, I'm going to jail. So, I even ended the recording. I called my girl. I was like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be there tonight. Like, check my location on my phone. Get ready to come up here and, and try to get me out of jail. Like, you're going to have to come get me out of the precinct. And she's like, what's going on? What's going on? Like... I'm like, look, don't worry about what's going on. They trying to take me to jail, uh, figure something out. So I hung up on her and then I was like, I got to call my mama. But I'm like, but my mama in Virginia, I'm in Texas. What is she going to do? So I'm like, I don't even know who else to call at this point. Like, I'm about to call Morris Mutual or something. I'm about to call Lester. So I was just like, you know what? Let me just go back to recording. So I just started recording again. I'm like, um, yeah, like I do have guns. Like, I mean, like they're right there. He's like, yeah, felons are not allowed to possess guns. I'm like, bro, when did when did that become law? Like, who are you, bro? Like, you making laws right now? And he was just like, you know what? I could take you to jail right now. And I'm like, whoa, 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 j j j j j j j jail? This could be a trip to jail. Me? In jail? Do I look like I would make it in jail? <laughs> what are we talking about here, bro? I'm not finna be nobody. I'm not, you feel what I'm saying? No, hell no, bro. Hell, <clears throat> 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 
Man, hell no, nah, bro. I ain't finna go to jail, bro. Like, I got too much going on out here, bro. I'm not finna throw my life away. Like, bro was making up any excuse in the world to take me to jail. Your 5% tint on your windshield. You was driving too fast. Your your uh tail light was too dim. Uh, your hairline's crooked. Your feet stink. Like, bro, what? That's that's. You can't possess a gun while you're a felon. Oh, you got two guns with the serial number scratched off. So what, bro? What? Are, who, who are you, the cops? Bro, I don't know, bro. The police just be pissing me off sometimes. Get, can I get a like in the comments if you guys agree? So at this point, he's like, yeah, we're going to have to confiscate this, and I could have your car towed. I'm going to have to have your car towed, and I'm going to have to take you to jail. This could be a trip to jail really? and, and a vehicle being towed in the state of Texas. What else do I do? I get a call home first or something? Like, what are you talking about? So, <sighs> so he put his little police detective gloves on. He start going through my trunk, taking my stuff, and I'm like, bro, like, why are you taking it? Where are you taking it? He's like, yeah, we're gonna have to take this in for confiscation. I'm like, bro just wants to shoot my guns, bro. He just seen my custom Glock 19X and my AK-47. He just want to shoot them. Like, <laughs> bro didn't even probably take him down to the uh, precinct. He probably just took him to his house and he just going to shoot him. So, he was like, yeah, you know, I could have took you to jail, but we're just going to take your guns and write you a ticket. I was like, you know what? Cool. You know what? Take it. Take all the guns. I'll, I'll take the license plate cover off. I'll take the tent off. I'll, I'll get that fixed. I was not aware, like, bro, I'm a Virginian. I, I'm only been a Texan for a few months. Like, I'm, I'm still learning this lifestyle. In the great state of Texas, I thought toddlers could own guns. I thought preachers. I thought felons, bro. I know, like, eight felons right now in the state of Texas that own guns, bro. I can give you their full government names, bro. What are we talking about here? So, whatever. Take the guns. Take, take the car. I don't care. Let me walk. So, he's like, nah, you can keep the car. We're gonna take the guns and give you a ticket. So, hey, God is good. By the grace of God, I prayed before I got pulled over. And you know what, what did we learn? Absolutely nothing. I did take the tent off of my windshield, but um, I only did that because my windshield is cracked. So I needed to get a new windshield anyways. But once my windshield is fixed, then I'm gonna put the legal tent on the windshield the legal one whatever one that is because he told me that i wasn't even allowed to tint it at all but i thought you could do like 25 35 percent or something like that i don't know where i'm from we five percent everything and if you get pulled over you don't you feel what i'm saying that's what we do but in texas it was two o'clock in the morning they'd be in them chargers bro and with that five percent my my view is kind of obstructed anyways so i'm not getting in a high speed with 5% tent at 2 in the morning. I can't see nothing. So, you know, I pulled over. It is what it is. Good luck catching me next time, Officer Doolittle. I'm, you're not catching me, punk. But they got me this time. I'm not going to lie. Texas Police 1, Iguop 3. Because this is not my first time getting pulled over in the state of Texas. The other two times, I got away. No tickets. This time, they got me. But you play the game. From I'm saying, it comes with the game, man. If I'm saying you play with fire, you're going to get burnt. So they got me this time. Bet they won't get me again, man. So, yeah, so it's tough, man. I'm out a few guns. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get those back, but I'm free. Your boy is free, so by the grace of God, I'm still here. I'm alive and well. It was a rough night for me. I was out there shaking like a stripper. Yeah, I'm going to get with for you sure. dispatch about this license. All right, thank you. Whew. in the 20 degree weather boy i'm telling you i was freezing cold the police officer was trying to take me to jail crazy story but hey we're still here baby so we just got to move smarter uh i gotta inform myself with more laws so make sure y'all do y'all research man before y'all buy any guns bro type up the the state laws the federal laws before you add any braces or stocks Make sure you know what you're doing because I didn't know it was illegal to have a switch on your gun. I didn't know. I thought those were just cool. I, bro, whatever. Boy, that's another story, bro. But <sighs> what are we talking about here? So, uh, yeah, 
Long story short, bro tried to take me to jail. He tried to tow my car, but I'm still here, man. So I just want to thank God. Thank God I'm still out and alive and free to tell y'all the story because if I was locked up, bro, y'all probably would never know. Y'all would really never know. If I got locked up, how would y'all ever find out? Unless it was a breaking news story, like I could really just get thrown in the cell. Y'all would just be like, yo, Isa hasn't posted in a long time. Learn from my mistakes. Don't get pulled over. If your girl texts you at 2 in the morning and call you like, I want to see you, just wait till the morning, bro. Driving at 3 in the morning, it's nothing good that happened at 3 in the morning. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. Every time I done been out that late, something bad happened. You just asking for trouble, so. Yeah. Um, I'm glad that I'm free. I'm glad that I'm here to tell the story, man. <sighs> Make sure y'all smash that like button, subscribe, and stay tuned because they're still out to get me, man. But catch me if you can, boys. Appreciate y'all, man. I'm going to catch y'all my next video. Officer, I know you're not going to believe me. I know you're not going to believe me, officer. I'm just going to my grandma's crib.